Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you how to work in Microsoft Team meetings with captions and tran transcriptions. So let's uh, make a meeting. I'll give it a title. Let's call it meeting and I will invite Alex and we will send the meeting. Let's join the meeting and uh, we can join. And uh, now uh, we should go to the more under the, the three dots and we should see uh, start transcriptions and we have uh, turn on live captions. Now, if you don't see start transcriptions, you need to contact your IT. And actually what we, you need to do is they need to go uh, to the admin center of Teams under meetings to go to policies and let's say click on the global policy and if we scroll down we will see transcription should be turned on so if it's off your admins need to activate it let's go back so we're now in a meeting and let's start to to test it so i'll click on the three dots and i will turn on live captions When I start talking, uh, it's going to start to give here the, the captions and by default it's in the language of English. But if I go to the three dots here, I can change the captions to a spoken language. So if I change it now, for instance, to Hebrew, which is the language that I speak as well, then now I can talk in Hebrew. And you attempt to do So you see, actually, that um, now the language is in the other. The caption is in the language that I chose. So let's uh, switch back to English, and uh, yeah, it changed. And now you will see now it's changed back the caption. Now, because I'm the only person here, then you see only me. But if there were additional people. You will see the name of the person and what they're talking about. Now, this caption is not stored anywhere. Uh, if you want to store, you need to use the transcription. So, if we go to the three dots and we click on Start Transcription, we'll get a message that let people know that uh, there's transcriptions, and you will see on the right that actually. Uh, everything is documented and uh, written. Um, okay, now, uh, pres presuming we want to change the language, we'll also see here are three dots. And we can change the language, and let's change it again to Hebrew. Just a second. Uh, and if I click like that, עכשיו אני יכול לדבר ואתם תראו את הכל. So actually you see that it changed that and now I can change it back to the language. Uh, let's change it back to English. Everything is here. At the end of the meeting we will be able to see it and we will also uh, be able to download it. Now. Uh, it doesn't make sense to have both captions and uh, transcriptions. Uh, what we can do is either to stop the live captions or we can also hide the transcriptions. It's still working, it's just not uh, visible. So let's show it again. Um, okay, another option is actually uh, we can just stop the transcription. And what happens is that when we start recording, automatically it also starts the transcription. Now, I'm not sure if it's uh, such a good idea because some people want to record without transcriptions. Uh, the only thing they can do is after they click the recording button, they need to stop the transcription. So I hope in the in the future you will be able that it will not be automatically because sometimes uh, you want to control it. So actually uh, we showed all of the things, the caption, 
the transcription, the recording. Now we can end the meeting and let's see actually what we have here. So uh, I'll join the meeting and I'll go to edit and we will soon uh, see uh, another tab which you see recording in transcripts. So we see here all what was uh, shown in both languages and what we can do is uh, you have a download and we can export it to a docx or a vtt. Um, by the way, uh, if we go to files here, we should also see a recording. Strangely enough, okay, well, we can click here and actually we will also see, also see um, the transcript in the recording. So let's uh, log in with this user. Just a second. Here we are. We will see as we start, we will see here. So I'm stopping this and you see here under transcriptions and captions, uh, either here it says we need to generate, but uh, I saw in the past that actually it automatically uh, adds it. So uh, this is something. So uh, let's go back and actually you see the transcription here. I wanted to export it and show you how it looks. So if I go here, click download, it will download it. And uh, if I go to the download, this is one of the meetings, let's refresh it. Here we have, uh, we can open it and we will see actually everything that we talked about. You see here, it says who started, when, and how long did he speak? So um, this is a cool feature. Um, let's see, here we see the attendees, attendance, and uh, the rest is, uh, you know. So um, the only problem I think is is a problem is regarding the recordings that automatically start the transcription. Uh, but uh, give it a try and uh, let me know what you think. Have a good day. Bye-bye.